Hey guys, happy Inktober. Today we're going to take a look at some alternative inking materials. We've got a couple Menso brushes here and then a couple of Sumi style brushes. These were picked up from Mido in San Francisco this year and last year. Apparently I, uh, I just retraced my steps. So I've got a, no, this is not a Denik. This is a Stillman and Burn Beta. I believe, sketchbook. I've also got some Kuratake Sume ink. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna noodle around, we're gonna unwrap these puppets, and we're gonna take a look. So the Menso brushes are made by Kuratake, and the back says, Horse, okay, they're both made of horse and goat hair and horse and goat hair brush is fine and flexible, offers a smooth lay down and just, strong and soft strokes. I cannot talk today. And I bought the small and the medium with the small being 775 and the ten, the medium being 1075 again from Nido. And fine quality horse and goat hair, brushly designed for fine liner, great for manga or sumi e drawing. Same thing on here. Boop boop, boo doop boop boop. Please note, any brush is stiff because its hairs are covered with a layer of diluted glue to protect them from possible damage. Wash the glue away with water before using. After each use, carefully ensure all ink is gone by rinsing with water, cleaning brush on a scrap piece of paper or cloth. Dry brush well and store it in a well-ventilated place. Do not replace transparent cap because it may cause it may damage brush. And these were made in China. As for these, I actually don't know who made these. And the back does not say they were made in Japan. Boko Undo Co. Limited, made in Japan. Um, and the smaller one was $6.95 and the larger one was $7.95. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap these. Can't say unbox, because there's no box to unbox. We're gonna unwrap these, we're gonna clean them out, and then we're going to noodle around with them, play around with them, and see if they're a fitting replacement for Kalinsky Sable brushes, which tend to be the standard for brush inkers, but it's certainly not the only way you have to go. And the packaging is fairly minimal, but not particularly reusable. That's the Menso brushes. Now the Boku Undo. And Boku Undo, I believe, makes uh, Genze Tambi watercolors or Gambi Tansa. I always get that confused. I've done reviews on them. I should know it by now, but I always get it confused. What would help me remember is if I knew exactly what those words mean. And I think Genze, Genze refers to the watercolor, so I should keep that in mind. And then these are the Boku Undo. Brushes, very, very fine. And then a slightly larger one, which reminds me of a size two Kalinsky brush. And these are taped down, whereas the Kuratakes had packaging that sort of accommodated this. All right, so we've got four brushes to look at. That's the medium Boku Undo. That's the small Boku Undo. That's the medium uh, menso, and this is the small menso. And I'm gonna grab a sume brush, actually have a small Yatsutomo. And then I have a, probably a medium Yatsutomo. So I'm actually gonna leave this here. I'm gonna also grab my Pentel Neo Sable synthetic sumi brush and i'm going to go clean the glue out of these bristles and then we're going to go ahead and get started off camera i've got a glass of clean water and i've got my sumi ink here just gotta get it open any day there we go all right so we are going to go ahead, we're going to dip the Neo Sable in water and we're going to go ahead, do a little noodling, little doodling with that. Mm. 
Now usually when I ink with a brush, I have a spare sheet of paper on hand. And I'll use that to get the excess ink off the brush because that can drain pretty good variety of line. Of course, for me, the only way I'm really going to be able to tell how this performs is I'm going to have to pencil something and then ink it. Even just something simple will be good. So that is Neo Sable. Wash that out. Don't want to let your ink dry. Then we've got that little Yasutomo. I'm going to dip that one in water just to to help bring it to a point. And we're trying for fine lines here. Ooh. Not quite achieving that. Makes me feel like Honda from Barakamon. This one is not so good. It seems to be losing hairs, but it could be really good for dry brush effects, which I've always had difficulty controlling. I may try shampooing that one and seeing if I can't. So it seems to be pulling a little bit better of a point now. Let's try. It's a little better. And I'm just doodling a little person just to sort of see if I could see myself using this for more serious inking than just me doodling. Of course, I don't actually know anything about Sumie painting. I'd love to learn and I'd love to try it, but I don't know anything about it as of yet. So this brush might be excellent for that or excellent for watercolor. I think that was the last time we took a look at it. But maybe not so much for Western style comic page making. All right, that's two down. Now, hmm, kind of want to switch over to a fresh page. It's going to get all over the place. We're going to end up making a huge mess. So just gingerly flip that over. Let us begin with the medium menso brush. Dip it in our ink. Now normally I would roll the brush like this to get it to pull a point. It is very soft. can put down a lot of ink. Can also draw a very fine line if you have that sort of control. I don't, but this could be really fun for maybe gestural inking, gestural sketching. I'm gonna do a quick one. I'd love to do this more often. The reason I don't is it does for me, it's a little more mess. I've usually got multiple things going on, but it doesn't stop you guys from giving it a shot. So, not bad at all. Already pretty fun for sketching, for sure. But then also the proof for me of usability comes from me penciling something and then inking it. So I'm still gonna have to do that. But Mento brush might not be a bad addition to your inking arsenal. And considering it really doesn't cost that much, especially compared to the Windsor Newton series seven, not a bad investment. All right, this is gonna get everywhere. 
So what I want to do is I'm going to use something to act as a little bit of a buffer just to keep the page from closing completely. Let's try the smaller menso. Do the same rolling technique. Capable of some pretty fine lines there. As well as some pretty thick ones and can do dry brush. And let's find something on my very messy desktop. Do a quick sketch with that. Not bad. Again, like with the larger Menso, I would have to... I would have to do a little more serious inking, but it's fun for sketching for sure. Still got some room on the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the larger Bemoji brush, which reminds me again of like a size four, not Bemoji, um, Boku Undo. Very, very, very soft though, but it's a little easier for me to control because the hairs aren't as long and I tend to be heavy handed. So this might be a good choice for me. These sort of little tests can be really good um, just to experiment, to play around, but also to figure out new techniques and new things you like. I like doing them from reference because it, I can draw a variety of materials and I don't have to look anything up. Also, good way to get a little, little quick reference drawn from life sketching in. Always a good thing. All right. Finally, we have one last contestant and this is still wet. So it's to have to put another another sheet in or another object in rather to help make a sandwich got a sandwich going you guys ever do this make sandwiches paper sandwiches because you don't want to wait for things to dry last boku undo This one's actually harder for me to control because it's not as wide. Same length as the first one though. So this one's actually nice to sketch with as well. Of course, all of them are nice to sketch with, but I mean, for me personally, I'm enjoying sketching with this one. In fact, kind of lost myself there for a minute because I was enjoying the process so much I forgot I was recording and not just doing a time lapse but like recording content so I'm gonna have to play around with these a little bit more and hopefully do some more sketching from life but also try it with my cartoony style and see but so far my favorites seem to be the Boku Undos and I thought it would be the Menso brushes so I'm gonna let these dry. I'm gonna get some little faces sketched up and uh, we'll see how these handle for cartooning. All right, inky friends. So we are going to do some practice inking with the Minso and Boku Undo brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my inking area all ready and prepared. Gonna grab a scrap piece of paper. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. And we'll grab the medium Minso brush first. I am inking 
in that Stillman and Burn beta notebook. And you guys will have to forgive me. I try to draw nice lines through controlled breathing, so I'm just going to ink. bit of a mess up right there. A cat hair got caught and it wanted to drag. All right. Oh, all zoomed in, let me zoom out. So I feel like using the Mento brush in medium requires a lot of arm control, hand control. Um, you would need a wide space to do your inking in. You would need um, maybe not the edge of the paper for your hand to teeter totter on. So if you were working on large things, it might work really well. But for something as constrained as this, it's really difficult to do. Um, it still turned out cute, but there were a lot of areas that I'm not satisfied with, which is fine because this is just a demonstration. Um, but there's dragging on the ear, uh, dragging on the hair over here. Um, I don't mind the dry brush. The dry brush is fine and adds an interesting texture. Uh, I just wish I were better able to control it. Now, of course, there are other sizes, so uh, I'm gonna let the ink dry and we'll try another size. All right, so that had a chance to dry. I'm gonna flip it over now and do another one. We're gonna use the Mento brush in small. This one is quite a bit easier to use. I have a stray hair in there, so it may affect my inking quality. I don't know if the brush itself is out of shape or if cat hair somehow got introduced to the brush. This is actually much easier for me to handle. I am used to inking with very small brushes though. Also point out that regardless of the size, both Minto brushes are far cheaper than a Winsor Newton Series 7 brush, which is, you know, usually the, the go-to. And while I do think it would take some getting used to, if you're used to Western brushes, I think it could be done. Although I may need to do some surgery on this brush since it, that stray hair is affecting line quality. Unfortunately, it seems to be part of the brush. Getting ink all over my hands. I would not necessarily recommend these to someone who's never ink with a brush or is unfamiliar with brush inking. Even the small one does does take a fair bit of control. It is handling very similarly though to a Series 7. So if you're used to inking with a Series 7 brush, this could be a good addition to your arsenal.
my few hiccups, but not nearly as many as I had with the larger brush. And I'm gonna to try to repair my brush and see if that won't solve some of those problems. So I'm going to allow this to dry and then we'll try out those Boku Undo brushes. All right, this is mostly dry. Time to move on to the next one. So we're gonna use the medium Boku Undo. And I have a feeling this is gonna be the most familiar for me. Already, this is a lot like using a Creative Mark Rhapsody in size four. Or maybe size three. And the Boku Undo brushes are even cheaper than the uh, Menso, br Menso brushes. And this doesn't handle bad at all. I mean, I'm doing a somewhat sloppy job of inking, but don't let that reflect on how this thing handles. Now I am having control issues because I'm running my hand up against the edge of the paper. That doesn't, again, have anything really to do with how this controls. Yeah. Again, my fault, not the fault of the brush. Actually, you wanna try inking some other things with this. Give it a real test run. Now, this was about $11. You can get a comparable Creative Mark Kalinsky Sable brush from Jerry's Artorama for almost the same price. A little more. I think, I think it's like 13, um, but sometimes these go, they go on sale. And if you don't have a Mido in your area, av uh, availability may vary. But I'll try to put a link to where you can get one in the description below. And to be honest, I know I'm not even handling these Sumi brushes properly. I'm clinching up on it like you would a Western brush, but I have never developed the muscles, the correct uh, wrist and hand muscles for holding this in the proper position. Maybe someday I will, like I have said before, I would love to learn how to do Sumi painting and calligraphy. So one day I may be able to demonstrate how to ink something like this, holding these brushes the way they were designed to be held. not bad. I could recommend that, especially to somebody uh, who might be new to inking with a brush. Now I'm going to let that dry and then we'll do our last one. All right, guys, I think we have just one more left and we have the tiniest of the Boku Undo brushes. 
and there's not a whole lot of line weight variation with this one. Trying to get some. So this one might be good if you enjoy working smaller or doing more detailed pieces or if you're a little hesitant to give inking with a brush a shot. And of course, I'm getting it all over my hand. This is where some dinky dips would be very handy, but I was being lazy. Oh, and I already smudged. Let's see. Uh, what I might end up doing then is just filling her hair in with black. Why not? But I'll do that after I demonstrate how this brush handles. And I'm not going to do the fill with black with this brush because it would take me forever. It's just too tiny. I know for a lot of my videos, I use Fude pens to ink, but I do find inking with a brush to be very relaxing, very calming activity, especially when it's not something that's particularly important. Like this isn't really that important of a piece. It's just a little demonstration, illustration. So not a big deal. It's not perfect. I got a weird angle there. Let's see if I can fix it. So the Bocalundo, I think, may beat out the Menso brush, at least for Western style comic inking. And that's a bit of a surprise to me because not knowing what I'm looking at, I thought the build quality on the Menso brushes seemed nicer. which is why I think it's always good to put your materials through a field test. Figure out how they work. Figure out what they're capable of. That's why I love doing field tests. I end up learning so much. And then I can share that with you guys, which is always really cool. Like we may have found some slightly more affordable alternatives to Kalinsky Sable brushes for inking, and these would probably work well for watercolor. Now, what I'm going to do off camera, once I'm done with this, is I'm gonna go clean them with some pink brush soap, and I'm gonna condition them. Then I'm gonna let them dry. Because even though these brushes are less expensive, if we want them to continue to perform like the more expensive brushes, we have to take good care of them. And then, although it doesn't actually matter for you guys, I'm going to wash my hands and begin my real Inktober piece for today. This was just a little demonstration for you guys and I had a lot of fun doing it but I still have a whole lot of mileage left in today a whole lot of work left to do Now I really gob the ink down on that one. So that one's gonna take a really long time to dry. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for joining me. 
I hope you guys will check out the Boko Undo uh, Sumi brushes in medium and small and maybe even the Kuratake Menso brushes in medium and small and I hope you'll try them out for yourselves. You can check the description below for a link on where you can get them. If I am using Amazon links, that means I see a little bit of that money. So your support helps me out a lot. If you like what I do and you want to help support even more of it, head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash natosoup for information on how you can join the art nerd community. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!